Hi, I'm Christy Martino, and welcome to the Shortwaves video on orientation selectability within monolithic capacitor models. Let's begin. A multi-layer ceramic capacitor, or MLCC, can be mounted on a printed circuit board in either a horizontal or vertical orientation. This illustration shows an MLCC mounted both ways. An MLCC typically consists of parallel electrode plates aligned within a dielectric brick. For an MLCC in a microstrip configuration, horizontal orientation is when the plates are parallel to the substrate plane as shown on the left. Vertical orientation is when the plates are perpendicular to the substrate as shown on the right. Although horizontal orientation is generally considered the default mounting configuration, mounting an MLCC in a vertical orientation can allow for parallel resonant effects to be minimized. Modolithics offers many microwave global models for MLCCs, some of which include an orientation parameter that lets users select either horizontal or vertical orientation. Let's focus on this parameter and see how the performance changes based on the orientation. For this demonstration, let's look at the microwave global model for the Amotech A60F series. This is an 0805 size capacitor series. In this schematic here, we have the same model set up for two separate two-port S-parameter simulations. Both models are set to 3.9 picofarads. Also, both are assigned a 4 mil Rogers 4350B substrate. The difference here is that the model at the top is set to horizontal orientation, while the one at the bottom is set to vertical orientation. Let's simulate this schematic and look at the results. This is the simulated S21 of both capacitors. The blue trace corresponds to the model set to horizontal orientation, while the red trace corresponds to the one set to vertical orientation. Notice that a resonance appears when the model is in horizontal mode. However, that resonance is not present when the model is set to vertical mode. We can run a similar simulation, but this time we'll assign both models with a different substrate. Let's assign 60 mil Rogers 4003C to both models. Again, the model at the top is set to horizontal mode, while the one at the bottom is set to vertical mode. Also, this time, both models are set to 10 picofarads. Here are the results after simulating the schematic. Once again, we see that a resonance is present when the model is set to horizontal mode. In vertical mode, however, the resonance does not appear. So in summary, We've shown here how a capacitor's response can depend on its mounting orientation. The orientation parameter within monolithics capacitor models allows designers to predict performance for both horizontal and vertical orientation. That concludes this video. For more information or to request a free trial, visit www.monolithics.com or email sales at monolithics.com.